Hello, everybody. I'm Pastor Rick in Lunenburg. Welcome back to Story Corner. Today is September 30th, Orange Shirt Day. Orange Shirt Day was started in 2013 to help us remember the stories that came out of what were called the residential schools in Canada. There were over 130 of these schools across the country. These were schools where Indigenous children were forced to attend away from their families. Sometimes they didn't see their families for years. Many of the students were not treated well. Some of the students died. Those who did survive had a very long, difficult journey. For many of them, that journey is not over. They are still struggling to recover. Orange Shirt Day remembers one of those survivors. Her name is Phyllis Webstead. Phyllis was six years old and was living with her grandmother on the Dog Creek Reserve in central British Columbia when she was told she needed to go to one of the residential schools. She didn't realize what the school was going to be like, so she was excited to go. Her grandmother wanted to support her in being excited, so she took her shopping for some new clothes. They bought a bright orange shirt with laces down the front. She said it looked just like she felt excited. But when she got to the school, things changed quickly. She was told to take off her clothes. Her new orange shirt was taken away from her and was never returned. She didn't understand that. This was her shirt. But nobody cared. They made her wear a uniform, which was just like everyone else's. They cut her hair so that even that was the same as everyone else. They were forced to say prayers they didn't understand. And when the children cried, nobody helped. For a long time, the color orange brought back memories of those feelings that nobody cared. When she was just 13 and a half years old and in grade eight, she had a baby. He is named Jeremy. Because both her grandmother and mother had attended residential schools for 10 years each, she says she never knew what a parent was supposed to be like. Fortunately, she had an aunt named Agnes who helped Phyllis raise her son so that Jeremy knows her as his mother. When she was 27 years old, she was finally able to start getting help in dealing with what had happened to her. She admits that it can still be hard. We don't just get over something like that. We carry it with us our whole lives. In 2013, an event was held at the school that Phyllis attended. The school had been closed by then, but people needed their stories to be remembered. Phyllis was able to tell the story of her orange shirt to the people who were there. And the idea for Orange Shirt Day was born. So now, on September 30th, the day that Indigenous children were told to report to the residential schools, we now wear orange shirts. We do it to remember what they went through. We do it to celebrate that people like Phyllis can finally start to understand what happened to them. We do it to make sure we remember not to do this to anyone else. We do it 
to support people like Phyllis and to be part of the healing. I think it is especially important this year that we remember Orange Shirt Day. Because one of the big news stories in Nova Scotia right now is the relationship between Indigenous and non-Indigenous people and the treaties which are supposed to help us live together. The residential schools are closed, which is a good thing. But we still need to work hard at figuring out how to live together with respect and love for our Indigenous neighbors. Thanks for joining me here in Story Corner. We'll see you next time.